Calendar Snack, thanks for stopping by and spending a little time with us. You can see today's date is uh, April 17th, 2024. Um, I've sent data off my personal um, Outlook, and that Outlook uh, name is, you'll see it up here, um, ColoradoRockyFansOutlook.com. So I essentially went out and got my own email address at Outlook.com, obviously, ColoradoRockyFansOutlook.com. And what I've done is I've uh, sent uh, the calendar invitation to create at calendarsnack.com. Now, when I do that, I send out an auto bot of activities that go on in the calendar snack I'm not going to go into here. What I'm here today to show you is that when I interact with the service now that's been registered from my calendar client to the organizer dashboard, it can actually change data. Um, so a little far-fetched, but I'll show you how it works here live. So if I go to this particular event here, for 417. That's a game for tonight. You see it's 605. That came off my data here over to the right from a calendar client. I sent to us and we extract, transform, and reload it into AWS. That's what you're seeing here. I'm going to show the message here. So the message body itself is this information right here. So this is a quick capsule on what that data looks like and that's uh, indicated over here. So I'm going to show you um, a couple different things. Now downstream I've already sent these calendar invites off of this uh, calendar snack dashboard to several people downstream, meaning I invite them to the event. And those are on various calendar clients I'm going to show you here in a second. But let me uh, get back to the narrative here. So um, I'm in edit here. I'm going to say uh, just an update. And this data here is going to show up in the message body uh, over here. So uh, I'm going to basically take it and transform it again. I'm going to say it's 417 test. And in addition to that, I'm going to say stop by booth number 123. So I'm going to show you here that this information will be updated here uh, in the event title as well. Okay, so let me just get on with it. I'm going to send it. Um, it's going to take a few seconds. Uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to go back to view events. I'm going to refresh this page over here and let it do its thing. Um, you'll see it right there. So the data actually came off my calendar client here. It went through the whole process and updated uh, the landing pages as well. So when I go to send invites, I'll click here, I'll go to the landing page live, and you'll see it since it's the next one coming up here tonight, stop by the booth. I actually changed it, the data off my calendar invite and it showed up here in the landing page. And I just put an update uh, to the test. Now downstream what I've done is I sent out some calendar invites off this page. So if that holds true, what I should be able to do is go downstream and take a peek at a few of these. And you'll see right here, immediately under greg at techcreator.com, this event has been updated. Um, it's updated saying stop by booth 123. I already signed up for the event, but we've pushed it out saying, hey, uh, there's a special message here. Should I say yes, no, or maybe again? And I'm not sure, so I'm gonna say maybe. So in the data collection engine here on the back, um, which will be right here. I'm going to go in and actually uh, ask for some data on this event. Let me see what's going on with the event itself. Um, that'll be in here in this panel. I'm going to get the invitee report. It's going to be sent to this email address here, Colorado Rockies fans. So that's in my Outlook client under a test account. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to go back to uh, the test account here. This will be my Outlook. Um, and you should see here in a second, uh, here under inbox, uh, under other, uh, report just got sent, 334. You'll see there's no shenanigans. I'm going to take a peek and see uh, what this report looks like. I'm going to download it. Uh, actually, not going to download it. Let me just preview it. I haven't used a previewer in a while. Um, let me go to a exploded screen, maybe, if this works for the demo. Um, you can see here that uh, Greg at TechVader says it's no action. It hasn't gathered the data yet um, off of Greg at TechVader. 
So let me give it an update uh, here one more time in the live demo. Let me go back here. Uh, you can see I said maybe um, that is in my Greg at TypeBater account. I'm going to allow it to go just a little bit more time here for the demo and then call it square, uh, not get into too many details here uh, with the invitee report. I'm hoping that data was collected correctly this time. I'm going to send the report again to the notification email box here uh, at Colorado Rockies fans. You can see it just showed up again. I'm going to take a quick uh, preview of it. I'm going to Greg and you can see Greg at techvader.com specifically right here is now tentative. So that's the end of the demo. It's a little long, but it shows to a great extent the thoughts and uh, technology behind this. I encourage you to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks.